Howdy folks, how's it going? I thought today I'd do a lesson for uh, Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Somebody wanted to see a little run through of the chords for that one, so um, I'll do that one today. So that's going to start with a standard tuning. You've got to keep on the third fret. If you want to be in tune with the song here, you can put it wherever your voice happens to fit. Um, I'll run through the intro here up to the point where the lyrics start, and then I'll go back and kind of explain it a bit. But uh, this is what it's going to sound like. It's going to go... <laughs> right where the verse starts so that's going to start with a D chord here right and then there's a quick A so whenever you see me just kind of lay my finger like this that's just my version of a really a lot of quick A's in this song looks like a passing chord so I'm just kind of putting my finger down across the second third and fourth strings then the fifth one's open so it's going to go D A B minor that part so that's gonna go D A B minor A G A D and then from here it's just gonna go alright so the first time through you've got a D A G A D into the actual verse where he starts singing he doesn't really pass through that a there on the way to the d he just goes from the g right to the d all right so that's gonna sound like all right so i'll run through that whole little intro again here and it's gonna go d a b minor There's the, where the verse starts, the don't go break in my heart, and that's gonna sound like this. I'll run through those chords too. That's gonna sound like. All right, so it starts on a D there. G, D, G, and then we got this little piece that goes D, F sharp 7, to a G, to an E, to a D, alright, so again that's going to go. Seven G E D to the G, and then this little lick. I'm just kind of doing it on the sixth string here, the lowest string. It's going from the relative to the capo. You're going to go second fret to third fret, and then do that again, and then a quick A on the way to the D for the second half of the verse. All right. So the first half again is going to go D. G, D, G, D, F sharp 7, G, E, D, G, and then the lick. And then the second half is basically the same, so it's going to go D. D, F sharp 7, G, E, D, and then on this lick you're just going to go and stay on the G and not go to the E here, or the A there, alright, so you're going to go, then it comes into the, this part here, I don't know what you call this, a pre-chorus maybe, but it's going to sound like this, 
This is the woohoo, nobody knows it part. It goes. That's an F sharp minor. Well, I'll run through the chords here and then I'll explain it. It goes. Start that on a F sharp minor, the woohoo part. It goes woohoo. F sharp minor to an A minor. Nobody knows it. All right, to a G D A E. All right, that's the first half of it. it just goes F sharp minor, A minor. goes back to the F sharp minor to the A minor then it goes G D A E then an F and that's an A chord with a C sharp in the bass so it's basically just the same A that I've been doing except on the fifth string you're gonna to want to fret that on the fourth fret relative to the capo, so kind of four. All right, so that's the A with the C sharp in the bass, and then it goes to the G. So I'll run through that second half again. It's just gonna go F sharp minor, A minor, G, D, A, E, F, A with the C sharp, same little lick and it does go to the A here on the way to the D for the chorus. Alright, so I'll run through that whole little section here, the woohoo part, it goes F sharp minor, A minor, G, D, A, E, second half, it goes F sharp minor, A minor, G. A there, and now he goes into the chorus where he sings the Don't Go Breaking My Heart part, and that's pretty much just like the intro. It's gonna go. Alright, so you'd still, you just got the D. Don't go breaking my heart. The quick A to the B minor. A to the G. Quick A again to the D. Alright, so again that's just and I think he does that twice. And then also like the intro, he does throw in the then he lingers on that G. Then it goes into the second verse. So that's pretty much all the parts to the song there that you need to learn and you can reference, I have a full cover of this one, you can look at that one to get the full arrangement down. So I don't have to try to run through the verses and the chorus. The only other change is, I think towards the end, there's a part that's like, where he goes right from the start. He does that twice. All right, that's pretty easy to get. Then he does this. So that's the only other difference in the song. There's like a little solo break in it where he just plays over the regular verse chords. Um, yeah, that's the only other change to it. Is the... Towards the end of the song he goes... ends 
for this. So that's again, that's pretty much all the parts that you need to know for the song. There's no other little sections to it, and uh, you can watch my cover for it. I'll put a link to it in this description box here. So I uh, hope that helps. If there's any other further questions with the song, just let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.